Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And recently I cleared AI uh, 102, which is basically Microsoft certified Azure AI engineer associate. And it took me around three months for preparation because I was busy in my uh, current project to work, but still I was uh, managed to clear the certification. Now people are working in AI, even though they are working or not working, it doesn't matter. Microsoft uh, like you know has two certification one is ai 900 which is basically fundamental and uh, the slightly better is ai 102 which is basically for developer now even if you are working in tech or non-tech or functional whatever uh, expertise you have you definitely should choose a certification uh, in ai space because these days companies are looking for ai uh, keyword in the resume so if you have a resume in Nokri or any of the other portal and if you are not getting a call that might be the reason that nothing is written about AI so everybody is looking for Gen AI LLM or any sort of AI uh, small small experience or certification so certification is the easiest way to uh, you know sh to showcase your visibility so if you are a non-tech person or if you just wanted to uh, start your ai journey go and take ai 900 which is basically fundamental far easier than ai 102 and if you're a developer be it python developer java developer or c -sharp or any other language you should take this ai uh, 102 there are certain certification in, in other spaces as well but this azure certification like specifically microsoft azure are slightly an easier side so within one or two months preparation you can get associate level certification for fundamental it may take even like you know two weeks based on your preparation within a one week you, you can also clear so in this video i'll try to uh, like you know uh, in briefly i'll just go through my preparation strategy I'll, I'll show like you know the uh, like you know the question like format and all so be with me so first of all uh, like I, I have uh, gone through this uh, video basically so I don't recommend it and this is pretty much high so if you have the free, free Udemy subscription if your company is providing free Udemy subscription go and complete this video tutorial it is not best but it is kind of average uh, so just you know don't 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 purchase it if it is free then access and complete the video lesson and do not take any practice test because those who those practice tests are not matching even i i took the practice text from udemy and those questions are not matching so there is no point of taking the practice test but this video lesson lesson is good if you are not able to purchase this go and check in youtube there are a lot of materials available like you know four hours five hours complete course available on ai one or two complete any of them you will get all ideas uh, regarding their services but you need to be vigilant because ai 102 is an exam which is frequently getting changed lot of things getting added specifically in gen ai space so you need to take a latest course right so this is one uh, like resource which i follow and one definitely is microsoft uh, learn so this is the by far the best resource but uh, so i have gone through not completely but few of the services i have gone through and uh, if you see uh, the exam is on either on python or c sharp so during the exam uh, they will ask whether you want to go for c sharp language or python but the problem is for java developer they have to either choose python or c sharp so other languages doesn't support i mean it does support but during exam you, either the lang like you know the questions or the answers language would be the c-sharp or python so you need to be a little bit uh, familiar with this syntax if you are not in c-sharp or python developer so this is one and these are the basically like you know sub like uh, the subject or like the uh, the uh, topic that we, you need to cover so this is the entire uh, i mean uh, the course basically so i have gone through a couple of uh, services not entire services so if and if you are planning to take the certification i would recommend it to complete at least this generative ai solution this has completely changed so i'll i'll, I'll, I'll just you know go through the uh, like the video i'll tell you why i am recommending this like you know to 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 prepare for this five hours course from here okay so this is the overall uh nutshell preparation so apart from that i took help uh, like you know from a dump basically so that you can purchase from here as well as low as 50 rupees like you know ai one or two and usually in if you if you are preparing for this kind of material so you will get around 90 percent question from here but surprisingly i got approximately 70 percent these days uh, rest 30 percent are new and most of the cases all gen ai question basically are new so the gen ai question which is available in all the materials available out there in internet all are same basically are outdated so these days they are asking gen ai 4.0 
but the questions were in 3.5 so definitely you should uh, look to look like for this one okay so this is one and let us go like you know let us talk about the exam so in ai 102 you i have i, I got 58 question that might be slightly up and down for you like it might be 55 or 51 even 60 for you and they have given 100 minutes of time like one hour 45 40 minutes effectively there was one case study on Contoso, so I'm giving you a hint. So you may like, you know, see two case studies. So prepare for Contoso. Contoso is coming these days. And then uh, there, there were one uh, yes or no question, one set of yes, no with three questions. And the, the major problem is there, there are, there are uh, like, you know, there was more than 15, there are more than 15 questions on drag and drop. Now drag and drop questions is like, you know, they have given uh, area where you need to drag and drop. So in drag and drop question, the problem is the you need to choose the correct uh, slides. You need to uh, arrange them in a correct sequence. You also have to take the like number of slides correctly. So there are three uh, like you know things that you need to be very careful. Your drag and drop questions are lot of questions. So if I if you answer one question, the next question is drag and drop. So that is pretty much uh, like you know difficult. The difficulty level was high. And uh, during the exam, they sh they have they told like you know your question should be uh, single response, multiple response drag and drop you might have a checkbox you might have a lab as well but for this exam as of now there is no lab so that i just need to go and there is no um like you know other thing like you know which is simulator simulation based question was not there so you need not to uh, prepare for the lab so but it again the before beginning of the exam they told it might have lab but lab was not there so i have taken from proctor if you are going for on a, like an offline exam you might have, but I believe uh, still like, you know, after uh, COVID, they haven't introduced this lab thing. Okay, so this is all about this. And let me go to quickly show you. Uh, this is this is my like, you know, exam history. And if you see, I am trying to take two exam each year. And you can see like, you know, this exam I failed. Now, the, the reason being I failed is this exam is uh, in six of uh, this month, uh, like in the fourth of this month, uh, I took, I booked the exam around 10 and I was keep waiting. I keep waiting for two hours to load the exam. So I was in, a, in touch with Proctor, but uh, they were unable to load. They, then, then they like, you know, contacted the technical person. They were unable to load. And then I got a failed report. So I haven't like, you know, got a single question, but since I attended, like, you know, attempted the exam, they have given a failed report. But after two days, they have raised a case basically. He asked a proctor what can be done. Uh, then they have raised a case, and after two days, I got a voucher. Basically, that voucher is uh, the voucher was valid for uh, like you know one year. But I, in the next week, I have I took I booked the exam and I was able to pass. So this fail exam basically I didn't fail. The exam couldn't load. So for you, it is quite possible the exam might not load. So one trick I have that I recently came to know. Usually, like, you know, I like to take the exam on Monday morning so that I can prepare Friday night, Friday evening, Saturday, entire day, Sunday, and then I, I took the exam on Monday. But one of my colleagues told, like, you know, in Monday morning, there is a huge surge in, like, you know, for the people, like, you know, IT folks, basically, all all wish to take the exam on Monday morning, and that might be the reason of slowness. So instead of Monday morning, take, take the exam on, uh, like, you know, Sunday night, Sunday 1 a.m., or uh, like you know 2 a.m if you can so take the exam at uh, night basically that time the participants are less and you can have a seamless like you know e exam experience so that is one trick i can tell you otherwise uh, these days uh, this is happening quite a bit okay now i will quickly show you my score report uh, this is my score report i got 811 uh, which is kind of average marks i would say 700 is a pass mark uh, there were situation where when i scored more than 900 like in devops exam i scored more than 900 but uh, anyway like you know passing marks is 700 so if you score more than 700 is sufficient for you and if you see like you know the topic wise uh, cut off or topic wise performance they have displayed and uh, I'll quickly show you this is this is like you know, uh, the certification which I received and this certification will valid for one year, but it can be like a renewed ultimate uh, like, you know, uh, yeah, as long as you can, like every six months, you'll get a renewal 
email you just have to uh, answer like 20 or 25 questions you, it, it will be renewed for next one year so it is valid for 2025 but anyway i will be renewed the certification so that is uh, it as of now and if you are not preparing uh, do prepare for any ai certification not only ai 900 if you think uh, there are other certification uh, certifications are available in other cloud provider do uh, take it because these are very demanding thank you